All right, Luke here from Makeoscopy, Ross here from Makeoscopy. As you can see, we are at our new Makeoscopy set with all of our good stuff. We've got our logo up here. We've cleaned out our rooms, got all the oscilloscopes, and we have a safety system. So let's get started. What are we doing today? Um, we've got a flyback transformer right here. Do we? We will go into more detail about that later. But first, this is a dangerous video. And this tab right here says danger on it. So, so this is our safety system. It always pulls down whatever we need for safety. Safety well, glasses today. All right, get your safety glasses. I want the clean ones. No, I'll get the clean ones. Oh, I'll get the dirty ones. I don't exactly know how safety glasses are gonna help us in today's project, but whatever, trust the safety system. And we also have Chicken chicken system stick. is holding on very tight. Well, today. explain what a chicken system stick. is. Or a chicken, chicken stick. Here, later. All right. Let's get that out of the way. Safety goggles. Fantastic. All right, We're let's ready begin. To go. Um, so this is a flyback transformer. Let's briefly describe what that is. Um, it comes out of a TV. It is what provides a high voltage to go to a CRT. As you can see, we have we a have big flyback collection. transformers here. I don't know about there. There. There Actually, the two oscilloscopes don't have flyback transformers, they have okay. capacitors, but Fine. flyback transformers are the new, better version, kind okay. of. So the three TVs, the teeny one, this one, and the one in the bottom right there, do have uh, flyback transformers. Or, so flyback transformers are these big black things, I don't know if you can see that, but I don't really want to pick it up because it's recently been on and these things are extremely high voltage, if I remember correctly. So we've got an ungrounded chicken stick here just for igniting arcs. Um, I guess the best way to show you is to- Plug it on you. in. Let's plug it in. All right. So right here we have a, uh, you know how in like big, like Walmart and everything, they have the big uh, tube lights, the uh, fluorescent lights. This is a fluorescent light ballast, which is what actually makes it work, puts in a lot of electricity. You can get some pretty nasty arcs off of that, but we've got this plugged up to a transformer, so let's just take a look at what that does. You there probably you aren't able to see that from here, so we'll get a closer look and we'll show you all the aspects of this system. But yes, flyback, high voltage, fun. All right, let's let's get a closer look. Let's uh, play with this arc. So wait, let's get wait. a closer look. First, we have let's to plug it in. Look at yes. So um, we've got mains coming in here that goes off the side of the table. Um, black wire to black wire, white wire to white wire. One of them's neutral, one of them's hot. And uh, the earth ground black is neutral. The earth ground goes to the casing of this. Yes, and it says case must be grounded. So I decided I'd use my earth ground wire, which is green for earth color, even though earth is brown. But brown is already used in some. AC I mean, some people call our earth the green, green earth. Um, we, um, we actually do have a studio audience, audience, which I'm gonna remind everyone. It is our beautiful dog Millie. She's watching us right now. So let's continue on. All right. Um, we've got a blue wire hooked up to the blue and red from the uh, ballast. Those would normally go across the uh, fluorescent tube, right. but in this case, they're going on the primary winding of the flyback transformer. So um, from that. We have this blue wire looks an awful lot like that blue wire, but it's actually cut off the excess because this has two blue wires coming out of it. One of them is just excess. You only need one. Yeah, they're basically the same wire just to go to two different tubes. But this uh, certain blue wire, um, this one is going to the ground pin, the high voltage ground, and then this one's going to the primary. They look the same, but they're not. And then this big red wire is our high voltage uh Positive, I think. Yeah, it's positive. That, that would normally go, if you look and you open up a TV, it'll have a little suction cup on it, and that'll be actually yes. sticking onto the side of a CRT. So let's go ahead and plug it in and have fun with it. All right, sounds like a good idea. Okay, so just a little tip about high voltage. If you are going to get your hands anywhere near it, only get one hand near it and have another hand far away from it, possibly even behind your back if you're not using something like an insulated stick to be uh, but don't ground that. your hand because then it'll be no point because the point of using one hand is so that electricity doesn't go across your arm so here you see i'm using a chicken stick which 
is basically just a stick that you can use with a little metal piece, metal piece on there for uh, igniting marks. Normally they stay on longer for this. And normally a chicken stick is grounded. So let's just figure out how hot this is by uh, running it over a crayon. That caught on fire immediately. The grossest kind of crayon. Oh yeah, Lime, it's green, melting. It's melting for yellow. sure. Oh, it's dropping wax it's, all it's over. It's dropping everything. wax all over everything. Wow. Okay, so as you can see, I um, hope it's it's kind of focused near this area. So okay. let's just put it right there. Uh, it is lime green. It's the grossest color, and this it's Grinch colored. Yes, it's Grinch colored. That's the best way of describing it. This thing just catches on fire and melts immediately. Yeah, I really shouldn't be doing this. And makes a mess of our uh, filming table. I'll get this all off. <laughs> yeah, sure. really, wax, wax is really difficult. bad. So yeah, it goes from fluorescent ballast, which I got for 10 bucks on Amazon. Well, it goes from AC mains to fluorescent ballast to flyback transformer. So this whole thing only costs us about $10, because you can get flyback Some people old give TVs. you TVs for free, or yeah. you can salvage one. Old CRT TVs, not flat screens. Those right, flat those screens. Have these. They, they wouldn't even have room. <laughs> yeah. But flyback transformers, really easy to find. Okay. You do have to desolder a lot of pins, but in this case, you only have to use three pins. Primary coil is two pins, and then one high voltage ground. I'm gonna Don't take this. get your hand that close to AC mains. It's just mains. All right, I want to try an experiment here. I want to see what happens when you get a fluorescent tube really close to it. That's all right. And it's a green one because we've got a whole bunch of colored lights. Uh, oh, that sounds racist. A whole bunch of lights of color um, <laughs> here in our studio, as we call it. It's been used as a band room. Uh, don't put it across the AC. That'll fry the ballast. So put it, or the this CFL com compact fluorescent light has a, uh, here, I'll get the. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. That's too bad. All right, well, what um, else do we want to do? These have a tiny fluorescent ballast inside of them on a little circular. We've actually form. run the flyback off of that, but it didn't work too well, so we decided buying an actual flyback. Yeah, would be our best option. Because, or an actual ballast. Because yeah, actual CFL ballast, right. ballasts will uh, burn out if you draw out an arc maybe about that size that we have right now. All right, let's just droop a little string on there. It's going to catch on fire immediately. And oh, also, fire it. is a very conductive material for arcs, surprisingly enough. Oh. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, also, we forgot to mention that you can actually blow out arcs just like a candle. Here, I'm gonna hit that so it doesn't friggin' set our table on fire. Yeah, good idea. Well, what else do we want to do it with It is this? a very robu robust table, but still. Um, alright, so, next thing is... Gotta get my hand close to AC bands for this one. Oh, are we gonna blow to run it through an LED? Oh yes, let's do this. Okay, uh, should we tie a string to that? Uh, sure. Okay. Actually, no. Let's tape it to the uh, to the chicken stick. Great idea. <laughs> so we're going to behind the scenes uh, grab a little piece of duct tape because you can't really see this, and tape the LED on here somehow. Let's tape it to the crown. Here, the crayon we're gonna crayon tape one to one to the. Oh, no, no, just one of the leads. All right, there we go. And then we'll get it back in the view of the audience. So here we have an LED. One of them is on the chicken stick nail, and one of them is hanging. One of the, the leads, air. that is. Yes. All right, one of the let's leads. see what happens. It lights up. Oh, and my it, gosh. It doesn't even burn out. That is insane. Of course, it makes the leads of the LED red hot, but it actually works well, and it doesn't the, burn out the LED. That is insane. So you see, this is, darned. this is beyond main voltage. KV. It's 20, 20 kilovolts. kilovolts going into a, an LED that's only meant to go a couple of volts. Like five volts. And the leads are melting. So I'm going to... Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Made a little globe of, uh, of metal. That is insane. This is I guess it's, absolutely I guess crazy. it's the low current that makes it not blow out. But you put one of those on a 9-volt battery without a resistor and it'll blow up. Yet here we had it. Deadly voltages. Going through sure. an LED. Lighting Some up. people say it's the current that kills, but this kind of voltage, um, it'll probably kill you too. It's a flyback transformer. 
be careful with these guys if you do yeah, use Yeah, if flags. you ever do make one of these $10 setups, be extremely careful and exercise caution. Use a stick from far away whenever... PVC is a good insulator. It does carry a surprising amount of uh, static, but I don't think that's really... Yeah, worrying. so in summation, be careful, guys. Have fun and make something cool today. All right, well... Look at this red plasma. Darth Vader would be proud. Kylo Ren or someone. Try other parts of the CRT. There's the thing. I mean, I don't think I'm getting arcs anywhere else but there. Try poking it to different metal bits. That sounds We'll see bad. where we get a dot. Because there's a dot on the screen every once oh, in a while. Oh, that's going through the uh, actual cathode ray. We could be producing x rays. Yeah, maybe I we doubt, should. Not I doubt we this. have the voltage necessary, though. But, you know, anything that's evacuated, like even Nixie tubes with this, would be. Well. <laughs>So we're uh, driving a laser here on 20 kilovolts. 20 kilovolts. 20,000 volts. Just a little uh, standard. Too many volts. 5 millivolt uh, light laser light here. Point like five you buy at the dollar store. 0.5 milliwatt, not millivolt. I said that wrong. It's a 5 volt laser. Yeah, see that? Notice how the wire's moving around because of all the uh, static electricity that's caused. How it doesn't burn out? I don't know. Lord knows, must be the low current. Must be. It's making these nasty arcs up here. <laughs> what a laser pointer. You can run these things off of like two button cells. Or coin cells, rather. Or I've done it off of three AAA batteries. But here we are. 20 kilovolts. Without a single problem. Whoa. Whoa. What are you doing? It's, it's shooting out lightning. Darn. I think you're burning up the metal on the inside. Yeah, the battery does not like this. Oh, sorry. That's funny, right? This is freaking insane. Alright, we should probably not do that. Yeah. This is a large capacitor, so hopefully we're charging this thing off. It's making an interesting noise. Yeah, we're gonna I use the- I think we the, might uh, be boiling the electrolyte. Oh, Oops. that's not good. That was just bouncing off the case. All right, let's put that far Aside. away from Aside, now let's use the chicken stick, or you could just use that. All right, didn't charge it. Oh. Might be a dead capacitor. I might capacitor. have seen a little bit. Or maybe that just Whoa, doesn't- Whoa, dude. Maybe that just doesn't charge it. Yeah. We'll check it with a multimeter. All right, next component. I was about to say, I hope this doesn't make an extremely loud noise. I've heard of plasma speakers, but it doesn't seem to be working with this one. High frequency, uh, maybe it's too much for it. All right, let's, uh, well, Next component, I guess. What we did discover is that the magnetic got field. a magnetic field, so it's messing with the plasma. Yeah, it's directing the. Ow! I just got shocked. Um, it's directing the plasma into a fine shape. 